Hi, I'm Eve with The Baby's Booty, and today's video is going to be about how to install So What Pro on your computer and how to successfully register the program. Let's start by going to our website. It is www.thebabiesbooty.com, and it's B A B Y S B O O T Y.com. So if you go to our main website, you notice at the top menu, there's an option for So What Pro. And if you hover over it, it will also offer the other companion programs um, to download in order to use with your So What Pro uh, program. But So What Pro is what we'll be focusing on today. Now, So What Pro is an embroidery editing software program. You can use it to edit embroidery files, such as you purchase an embroidery file, you want to bring it in and say add a name to the image of the design or you want to delete part of the design that's what you would use so what pro for so what pro is not a digitizing program which means you can take a picture and turn it into an embroidery um, design that's not what so what pro does now if you're looking for that type of software program you can hover over so what pro and the next option is so art that is the program you want to use to digitize images into embroidery uh, files to stitch out with your embroidery machine. But for the time being, we're just dealing with Sewer Pro, which is an embroidery editing software program. If you take a look at the page for Sewer Pro, you will notice here there are different buttons available. The first one is download Sewer Pro if you have the Windows 64 version. Um, on your computer. It doesn't matter if it's Windows 2000, not Windows 2000. It doesn't matter if it's Windows uh, 11, Windows 10. This is your option, uh, one of your options for Windows. You just need to know if you're running the 64 version or the 32 version, okay? Most people will have the Windows 64 version. So you want to click here. If you do have the Windows 32 version, you would click here, but you need to check your computer requirements to be sure that this is the right version for you. If you have a Macintosh or MacBook, this is the button you want to touch here, download So What Pro Mac. Um, however, you would need to use an emulator because So What Pro is a Windows-based program. You need to use an emulator on your MacBook, which mimics or emulates Windows environment. So your program will run through the emulator on your Macintosh. Um, I do not have a Macintosh. I am not familiar with it and how it works. Um, so we're only gonna be focusing in this video on the Windows version. Um, but when it comes to registration, this video will work for any one of the three. Also notice there is a download So What Pro manual button. So if you're interested, in um, the manual for the program this is where you would click and then right here is where you would purchase so what pro all right now if you're not ready to purchase that's fine you can still download so what pro and use the demo version but when you're ready to purchase you would just click buy now you will be emailed a registration code and when you enter the registration code into the demo version of the program then you will get a um, unlocked version of the demo and it will unlock to the full version. There's no separate download that you need to get. So when you're ready to get Sewer Pro, you would click here to download Sewer Pro Windows 64 or Windows 32 or the Mac version, whichever one you need. I need the 64, so I'm gonna click here. And whenever I click here, it will automatically download on my computer. It's set to auto download right here now um, as you see it's downloaded one time before but i deleted it so it has downloaded again now if your computer is set up like mine you will see this down at the bottom of your browser and you can just click on the file to go ahead and install it but if you don't have this down at the bottom of your screen at the bottom of your windows browser then you will need to know where your files download to and then just go click there um, and click on the file and go ahead and open it up. Now, as you see, it opens up this image here, So What Pro SNS Computing, um, and then you will just click Next. Um, this will guide you on how to install it. We'll click Next again. 
you need to agree to these terms. So you might want to read that, click agree, click next, and then you can install SOA Pro for yourself or anyone who uses this computer. That's for if you have different logins on one computer, say a login for you, a login for your husband, a login for your um, daughter, then you could install it just under your login and then they won't see it when they log in on the same computer, but it's up to you. So I'm just gonna do everyone because I'm pretty much the only one to use this computer and I'm gonna click next. And now it says it's ready to install SoWet Pro. So I'm gonna click next again. All right. So as you see, it is installing SoWet Pro now on my computer. So you'll see some things going on and down here an alert popped up in my task bar at the bottom, it's flashing to let you know, hey, there's something going on. So I'm gonna click there. And as you see, it says it's requesting my permission. So on my screen, it blanked out to give me time to give it permission and I did. And so now it says it's successfully installed. We can click close to exit. And at that point, you can either go ahead and launch the program or you can uncheck the box and it won't automatically launch the SOAP Pro, but we want it to go ahead and launch so that you can see how to register the program. So let's click close and wait on the program to open. Now, as soon as it tried to open the program um, and it's initializing, it pops up this evaluation box. The evaluation box gives you the option to um, use it for 30 days in demo mode okay so you can use it in demo mode it will be limited um, but you can use it in demo mode or you can register it to the retail version which unlocks it to the full program so we can continue in demo or we can register if you click on register it will open up the registration page that you can go ahead and enter your product license at that time but in the event that you haven't done that and now you've been using the demo version and you want to register it and don't know how, I'm going to skip this part and go ahead to the demo version so that once we open it up and get back into this page, then everyone can follow this forward. So we'll hit continue to do the demo version. All right, and in the demo version, it says during the evaluation demo period, only the first three color stops will be saved to the embroidery file. All other features are fully functional. Um, and it says do not update during the demo period that will cause the trial to expire. So just an FYI, don't update while you haven't registered to the full version. And you click okay. And then here is the SOA Pro and it should have opened up a tip box to, um, give you some tips on how to use so what pro so this is so what pro in the demo version so say you've been using the demo version and now you want to register the program um, while it's open it shows that there's a free demo version 59 file saves remaining um, let's close out the program all right so once we exit out of the program i'm going to actually reopen so what pro at this point and once you reopen the program it asks you if you want to continue it as a demo or register the retail version. So now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and register it as a retail version. So hit continue. And once you hit continue, this box pops up right here. It says enter the registration information exactly as it appears in the email you received after the license was purchased. At this point, you've purchased the software program and it may take about 30 minutes to an hour Sometimes a smidge longer, but for the most part, shortly after purchasing the program, receive an email from SNS Computing that gives you your registration number. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and just pull up the email. This is it here. This is my actual registration email for my personal version of the software. So if you look in your email and you don't see this email where it says SNS Computing, product registration information, there's a very good chance that one of a couple of things has happened. Either this email is in your spam or your junk folder, or in the case of Hotmail and Yahoo, those two in particular tend to delay sending this email out right away. I don't know why um, it takes extra long for recipients to receive their emails from 
SNS computing with the registration information to Hotmail and Yahoo. I don't know why. I apologize in advance, but that's how that particular email server is. But you can look for sure, get a detailed look on whether or not you have that email or not by typing in either SNS computing. So as you see here, I typed it into my search bar, SNS computing um dot com and it pulled up my registration emails from sns computing so that's one way to try and find your email the other thing is you can do a search for support at sns computing dot com all right so if you do that then there's a very good chance you'll find where the email actually went that was sent to you worst case scenario just shoot over an email to whomever you purchased the software program from, whether it's me, whether it's any other authorized vendor, and they will resend you your uh, original registration uh, forwarded to your email address. All right. And we'll talk about uh, what happens after this particular section of the video. We'll talk about what happens if your computer is crashed and you got a new computer and you need to re-register. We'll get to that in a moment. But in order to register your program now, this is what we suggest. And it is outlined in this email. Copy and paste both the name and serial number into the registration form. Be sure the latest version of the software is installed. You might have to uninstall it and then reinstall it before you register. To minimize installation problems, download the software using Internet Explorer rather than any other web browser. All right. So these are some of the common things that can cause your registration to fail all right but either way we're here to get this video to hopefully help you get through it so copy and paste both the name and serial number now i know that it is tempting to type this number in and it's tempting to type in your name because it looks just like what it is but i will explain to you that it's, that the software is very sensitive and caps lock or, or you know capitalization is going to trigger and make it not installed properly so you need to copy and paste this exactly as it is so i'm going to copy my name i'm going to drag and highlight it and you want to make sure that you drag it to where only the name is highlighted there are no extra spaces or anything like for instance if you go here and copy it, that's not gonna work because that's too much space between name and your name. You know, like if you copy it like that, it's going to fail. Your registration is not gonna work. You don't need any extra space before or after your name. So make sure that you only highlight all of the letters to your name, okay? So we're gonna grab that. I'm gonna right click on my mouse and do copy, okay? And then I'm going to go back to So What Pro to the registration and notice paste username here. This is where you want to put in your name, but notice letters are already there. So I'm going to highlight all of that. Hit the delete key on my keyboard. All right, it's gone now. Now I'm going to right click and do paste. Okay, so my name is pasted in there. Um, enter optional organization name here. You don't have to do that. If you want to, you can. All right. And then down below, it says, enter your serial number in the box below. All letters are capitals, but we want to copy and paste this because some letters are letters and some are numbers. And if you don't know how to tell the difference between the letter O and the number zero, then you're not going to have a full registration. It's going to fail and it's going to be frustrating for you. So again, you want to highlight only the registration numbers. You don't want to highlight anything additional before that, okay? So make sure you grab only your numbers and the entire stretch, and we're gonna copy that just like we did our name. We're gonna go back to the SOA Pro registration, and we are going to paste and put it in right here. And this is how you register your program. If it fails after this, you may just need to close out so what pro reboot your computer open so what pro back again and do the exact same process you want to make sure that you copy only what you need to put in here no extra spaces and let's click continue 
And now our So What Pro is an unlocked program and you are able to use your program and enjoy it um, editing your embroidery files. So at this point, you've registered your program, you're using it, everything's great. If something happens to your computer and your computer um, needs to be replaced, for instance, your hard drive crashes or something along those lines, um, or if you have another computer and one in your office, for instance, and one that you use um, while you travel, a laptop and a computer, you can install So What Pro on up to two devices. You can do it on a computer and a laptop. Um, if your first computer hard drive fails and now you want to put it on a new computer, that's your second installation. Um, if you get a third device, you will need to contact support at snscomputing.com. Just like you saw in your registration email, you need to contact them and say, hey, I got a new computer. This is my third installation. Can you please delete one of the other installations so that I can use this program? Because what will happen is the system automatically checks your program. And if the program is installed on more than one device, one of the registrations will fail um, and you won't be able to use the program on the additional device. So definitely reach out and check with them um, on getting a third device because your first device no longer works. You can, you can only have them on two devices at one time. The other thing you want to keep in mind is when the time comes, if you can't do a search in your emails, when you get your registration email that you put a star on it, um, like for instance, I have mine starred right here. It's marked as important. However, it is in your email server that you mark an email is important. You need to mark it. And then if you can put this in a folder called registrations or something like that, or print it out and have it posted somewhere that you can get to it in your studio because this registration form, uh, registration number is critical if you need to reinstall the program for whatever reason. Um, at the least, you can reach out to SNS Computing, let them know you need your registration number. Again, it was installed, you bought it from them or if you bought it from me, shoot an email, say, hey, I bought it from you. What email did you use to register it? Send that to me and we will resend it to you. But honestly, it's much easier and much quicker if you save your registration email and then use that to re-register your program. Because if you email me or email them, we have to you know, be on the email in order to respond back to you uh, with your registration information. So it's just faster if you have it at hand ready already in your email so please definitely um be kind and keep your emails and mark them as important so that you can get back to them so thank you for joining us on learning how to register your so what pro software program we definitely appreciate it and if you have any other questions um, you can reach us at support at snscomputing.com or if you purchased it from me you can reach me at thebabiesbooty at gmail.com Enjoy your program.